Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist, and I am ridiculously passionate about teaching beautiful, soulful women just like you learn how to love yourself, trust your intuition, and manifest your heart's true desires. Now, these general spiritual readings that I provide on my channel each fortnight is all about helping you trust your intuition. And when you learn to listen to that beautiful voice deep within, that's when beautiful experiences become known to your reality. Now, today I'm gonna to be doing a general reading, which, you know, general in nature means that it doesn't apply to every single one of you. Maybe some aspects apply to you, but not everything. The way to know what applies to you is basically at the end of this reading, your subconscious would have basically digested a personal message and that's gonna stick in your head. Everything else that I've said basically is gonna fall by the wayside. So that's kind of an interesting way to remember it. Whatever your subconscious picks up, that's my divine message to you. So today we are going to be doing the spiritual reading, which is all about the new moon in Virgo, which is occurring on September 20th, um, depending on where you are in the world, actually. So let's get cracking today. By the way, I'm not in my usual filming location. Um, I'm actually in Mackay visiting my family. So I'm at my mom and dad's house at the moment. And it was just such a beautiful day and the air was just so fresh that I had to come outside to film. I wanted to be able to film in front of this the beautiful flowers. I, can you kind of see them in the reflection up here? There's all of these potted flowers in like this massive beautiful arch. So I'll film that at the end so I can show you because it's so beautiful. So I wanted to be in nature to film for you today. So let's get on to the first deck of cards. So we have the Angel Oracle from Doreen Virtue. So let's see what comes up to help you guys deal with the energies associated with the new moon in Virgo. I have a feeling it's going to be a flippin' amazing month. Okay. Angels, can we have one card for my beautiful MK Love Bam? to help them deal with the energies associated with the new moon. Ooh, I can hope, hopefully you can hear me. It's a little windy. It's always a chance when you go outside. I feel like I've missed the card reading because I'm distracted. Okay, let's try again. Okay. Ooh, your first card is, there is nothing to worry about. Now this is a beautiful card. So whatever has come to mind that you've been stressing over and that you've been worried about, just know that it is divinely orchestrated and there is nothing to worry about. It says you are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure the highest possible outcome flows effortless to and through you. Good start, my loves, good start. Okay, let's get another card. Clarity, please, on there's nothing to worry about. Okay. Have confidence. I just heard that song. I have confidence in me. First in lion numbers. And all those children, heaven bless them. Maybe that means something for some of you. Have confidence. Oh, this is beautiful. You're kind of like looking back, but there's like beauty in front. Can you see that? There's like beauty in front of you. You're in, you're in Mother Nature, surrounded by flowers. Oh, wind, please stop for a sec. It says moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough. Well, that kind of threw me for a second. Although with knowing that God works through you and with you in the way, lean upon us for your confident waivers and, and have courage and faith. So it's like, if you don't have the com, yeah, that's a roundabout way to say that. But if you don't feel like you have the confidence within yourself right now, then just trust in the universe that it's going to bring you everything that you need. And everything, my love, is divinely orchestrated to prepare you for your highest good. Okay, let's move on to the next one just to see where the blockages are. So the deck that I like to use for that one is Archangel Raphael Healing Deck from Doreen Virtue. Angels, can we have clarity on there's nothing to worry about and have confidence for a beautiful MK love fam. Can you tell me where their blockages are? 
Why do we need some? Okay, that card came up. Children. I love this one. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me to help children. This could be your inner child. This could be you helping other children, like physically other children. This could you be, um, I think it, for most of you, I feel like it's the inner child. So what do you need to do to, like what did you used to do when you were younger that was truly fun? and made you feel amazing maybe that's something that you need to get back to doing there's a lot of green around so i see like the heart chakra and it's like a male energy maybe that means something for some of you guys it's also like a balance on the divine feminine and masculine maybe that means something else for some of you High vibrational foods here, Mother Nature. Maybe it means connecting with Mother Nature. Maybe it means nourishing yourself with good foods that make you feel good. So then you want to do those things that you used to do when you were younger. I don't know, that could be taken so many ways for so many of you. Okay, let's move along. So the next deck is the numerology guidance deck from Michelle Buchanan. Okay. Angels, can we have clarity on this? Nothing to worry about. Have confidence and children for my beautiful MK love fam to help them deal with the full moon in Virgo on September 20th. Surrender. Surrender to the process, my love. Whatever is going on, you have to. I feel like you've been fighting it. I think that's why I've had such a headache all morning before this reading, and now the light's changed again. And I have to surrender to that process. Um, yeah. There's a song that's called, um, the lyrics in it, I surrender. I don't know who sings it. I'll have to spend some time thinking about that what came up for you what hit you in the heartstrings at the, like oh, now I'm seeing a butterfly let's get more clarity on this one okay 91 I think this is good don't think that this is like a bad thing I think during the process of surrendering that's when you like start releasing those blockages so it's like what do you need to do that maybe you don't feel comfortable to do but you know deep within you that you have to maybe it also means that surrendering I don't know surrendering could look like so many different things to so many people to me what it looks like when I surrender usually involves a lot of tears I think I feel like tears crying is the way to cleanse your soul from the inside out and I found particularly during the full moon in Pisces that we just experienced on September 6th that was a very emotional time so maybe this is continuing on to help you release those blockages and just feel like when you surrender to the process you basically leave your fate in the divine the universe god creator whatever you want to call it and it's like you know that whatever's going to happen is truly orchestrated for your highest good so it's like you don't have to like um mold it exactly how you want it to be maybe it's going to take on a completely different form but just knowing that whatever comes to you it's i just keep hearing it's divinely orchestrated it's amazing it's incredible some, some of you, it actually won't come in the form that you think it's going to come. But it, it's exactly what you need. Okay, let me just read what this one says. This card indicates a need to surrender your attachment to a particular situation or a preferred outcome because your inability to let go is impending your success, impeding your success. Desperation blocks manifestation. Oh gosh. Therefore, the more you struggle to attract your desire, the more you push away from it. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to detach from the situation and surrender to your divine, to the divine. In order to attract what you want, you must give the universe space to deliver your requests. This can only be achieved by getting out of the way so that everything can unfold as it should. 
It isn't your job to make it happen. It is simply your job to allow it to happen. When you surrender the outcome to the divine, you let the magic flow. Make peace with your life as it is today and appreciate what you already have. When you do, when you do what brings you joy rather than fret about the end result, divine order and timing will bring you the perfect outcome. And your affirmation for today is, I receive the best possible outcome when I surrender to the divine. Wow. It's kind of, I think this is a really beautiful thing. I feel like some of you have just been like paddling upstream, like literally, like think about being in a in a, um, a raft and you're trying to paddle up the rapids. Like you get exhausted when that happens. And I feel that like when you literally like let go of the oars and you just let the current take you to where it needs to go, I think for me, I found that's when things manifest super bloody quick. And I think a lot of you are, I'm getting like, I'm, I have such a headache. So I feel like this is such a headache for you to do. And you're so used to having control. And then, yeah, I feel like there's a blockage. Maybe I just feel it on the back of the head, but I don't know if it's because this morning I was dealing with my server company for my website and they were just i don't know because it's still the shadow period of mercury retrograde i don't know but i feel like you know exactly what this means let's get another card from the numerology to see what else we've got anyways universe can we have clarity on this nothing to worry about have confidence children and surrender for my beautiful mk love high vibrational souls in the whole flipping wide world and I just love them. Can you help me help them? Okay, I'll stop talking. Okay. 77, spirituality. Okay, so the way that you're gonna get there is linked with connecting back to your higher self. Which totally links in with my chakra meditation playlist. Spirituality can come in so many forms. It doesn't necessarily mean like sitting down and like meditating. It can literally be like eating high vibrational foods to put you in alignment. It literally could be having a dance party. It literally could be taking yourself out for a delicious chai tea latte and eating beautiful vegan, maybe not vegan cakes. Oh, you could eat vegan cakes every now and then if it makes you feel good, but not like every day. You know what I mean? Like connect back to your soul. How do you connect back to your soul? How do you connect back in your soul? So you can start listening to whatever is coming up for you because you've been blocking it. What the hell you've been doing, you know? Well, you know what you need to do. You're just scared. And fear is beautiful. I remember when I read the book, Big Magic from um, Elizabeth Gilbert, she also wrote Eat, Pray, Love which I'm sure most of you know about. And in that she had some, she wrote something beautiful about fear. And she's like, fear is literally, fear can literally come in the car for like a road trip, but fear can sit in the back seat and fear can come and we will appreciate you and we will love you, but you are not going to drive. You're not going to take the wheel. I just heard that song. Jesus take, um, well, that's okay. Jesus take the wheel, take it from my head. Cause I can do this on my own. I'm letting go. Oh my flipping God. That's from Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood, Jesus take the wheel. I, my body is full of goosebumps. So I obviously got the song right. Which is about surrendering. Yes, I love it when these songs come through. It just helps me piece them together. Okay, so in order to surrender, you, you, do these things to connect back with yourself listen and listen to your intuition yes i bloody love that song jesus takes a wheel like love it i can't remember how it starts off um It's been a long and winding journey. I don't know, but I'm going to play that all day now. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's get let's go to the next deck. This is the Angel Tarot from Dorian Virtue, the biggest deck there is. There's okay, Angels, can we have clarity on this? Nothing to worry about. Have confidence. Children, surrender and spirituality from my beautiful MK Love fam to help them deal with the energies associated with the new moon in Virgo on September 20th. Can you complete the last piece of the puzzle for us? Okay, this one's coming out quite quickly. Seven of water. Whew. This is a beautiful card. <laughs> Stop procrastinating. This is kind of beautiful and I feel like this totally fits in with what we were just talking about. So, so I feel like it's linked with this one. It's like, Stop procrastinating with the ability to surrender, my loves. I love this one because I think this one's got this one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the seven different chalices, links with the seven different chakras. Ooh. Is that the color of the solar plexus? That's like the emotion center. I feel like that's the most prominent one and that color is orange. Red is root. Orange or yellow? Sacral. Is it sacral chakra? I can't remember the colors. I think yellow is solar plexus. Oh, okay. Let's get clarity on that one. Okay, seven of water. Oh. Is my chat quite crazy now? Okay, so it says, you may be faced with a complex decision and it's difficult to choose between the options available to you. Do the research necessary or seek counsel from a mentor. It's time to stop procrastinating and get busy, my loves. If you've drawn, if you're drawn to a particular cup depicted on this card, oh, that's exactly what I said. Its chakra color holds meaning and offers guidance as you're making your choices. Red means home and money and security. Orange means creativity, addictions and sexuality. So it is a sacral chakra. Yellow means power and control. Green means love and healing. Light blue means communication and truth telling. Dark blue means visions and psychic abilities and purple means spirituality. Trying to focus and, un and avoid unrealistic expectations. Additional meanings. Too many options, confusion, fantasies, imagination, running, and addictions. I was instantly drawn to this one, but then I also see these ones kind of on par, and then I see like one disappearing. The two blue ones are kind of like disappearing. So like, my loves, which ones, Lucas? Which ones are you drawn to? Oh my gosh, now the sun has come in. I can't see. Ooh. Inside all of these chalices are mermaids? I don't know if you can see that. Can you see this little person? There's little people in all of them. I don't know if you can see. I highly recommend that you guys go over and check out my chakra meditation and literally click on the picture that you are drawn to initially. I've done six out of the seven meditations. The other one, the um, the crown chakra will be delivered. I think I said to someone on the 29th of October or November, I can't remember. It was, it was one of your husband's birthdays. I can't remember who I spoke to, but I have it in my diary to release the last one because it's coming with um, something really special. Yeah, I can't answer this one for you. It's like whatever you guys are drawn to, whichever color. Let's get one more. 
I feel like we've got a pretty good story here. So let's just recap. It says there's nothing to worry about. Have confidence, children, surrender, spirituality. Stop procrastinating and make that decision. Angels, can we have one um, last card for our beautiful MK love fam, please? Okay, that was quick. Oh, dude. You are fierce. Queen of fire. <laughs> you are hot. You are confident. You are, you've got this fierce kind of like, you're just like, you've just, it, you're just stepping in your power. It's like, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and your creativity. Ah, oh, yes. That, my whole body is full of goosebumps again. So that's good. Look at that, look at her eyes. She's fierce. I love this card. You've like totally stepped in your power. It's like, it's like, it's like you're in control. And it's like, yeah, if there's fire or the shit that comes up when you're surrendering, it's like, it's divinely orchestrated because you are in control now and you are at a place where you are ready to like, um, you can deal with contrast. You can deal with like when things blow up and you have that beautiful ability within you to like rise above. You're the queen, you're at the top, you know? You're intelligent, you're graceful, you're confident and you are warm. What? What a card to finish on. The powerhouse. My body is still full of goosebumps. And I saw another butterfly. Transformation. I've seen two butterflies during this reading today. Okay. Um, let's just read, just find out more about this one. Yes. Okay. Remember when we're talking about um, the angel tarot, it's either applies to a situation or a person. So whatever comes up for you, just go with that. So the situation says, now is the time to stretch your wings and you are ready to fly. You've been underestimating your, your you've been underestimating yourself and your abilities. Believe in all that you can do and accomplish. You naturally attract the people to assist to assist you, assert your independence and your creativity. Duff. Okay, in regards to a person, it says, or people, it says, a person with a magical personality who is good natured and loves life. Someone with great confidence who is astonishing, astonishingly well-rounded in terms of talents and skills. Attractive. You're hot as hell, my love. You're warm, you're intelligent, you're graceful, you're capable, you're active, you're convincing. Difficult to throw off guard. Oh my God, that means you've been grounding yourselves and that things have been working out. You've been doing your self-love practices. Connect back with your inner child. We got, remember that card, the confidence card? There's nothing to worry about because you're the bloody queen of fire. <laughs> okay, additional meanings, trusting your intuition, a balance of home and career, a desire for attention and recognition. It's like whatever you've been working on for however long, it's time that somebody actually, like, it's not even if someone acknowledges, it's just for you to have, I feel like something's drawing to completion. Well, I don't know. I, pardon, I just dropped a card. I just feel like I don't need any more cards. Like, oh my, she's, she's fallen out of my hand twice now. Okay, let's just do a recap, okay? <laughs> You're the queen of fire. My MK loves are on fire. I feel like we shouldn't have like a rock song. Da, da. My MK loves are on fire. I don't know. That's really weird. Um, okay. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. Have confidence. You're amazing. You already know you're amazing. You you know, stop judging. Stop trying to compare. Oh, I just heard stop comparing your chapter one to someone else's chapter 22. Connect back with your inner child. Children are basically pure positive energy. They have this beautiful aura and energy, energetic field. You're helping, I feel like you're helping your inner child or you're helping children. 
Surrender to the process, my love. Everything is divinely orchestrated. Let go of the oars and go downstream. Connect back with yourself, your spiritual elements, which links into whatever chakra color comes out to you today. And just know that you are the queen of fire. You're fierce, you're fabulous, you're wonderful. And the world needs, to, the world is a better place because you are in it. Yes, my loves. I absolutely love reading for you. Like it is one of my favorite things to do. It is so beautiful. I can't stop looking at her eyes. I can't stop looking at her eyes. Well, that's the thumbnail for today. Don't underestimate yourself. Oh my God, my loves, comment below. Let me know what came up for you because I would love to hear from you. I'll respond back to every single one of you. I don't, I try to do it as quickly as I can especially if I notice that you're one of my like MK love fam VIP and you're basically like clicking on my video as soon as it uploads because I spend from like six till seven um, when it uploads like the first hour responding back to comments and then I get the rest of you when I have time but <sighs> yes my love yes ah, and then I heard that song again this girl is on fire this girl is on fire Oh, and also at my mum's piano concert, one of her kids actually sang that song. She was so bloody cute. Yeah, it's like you're stepping into your power. You're unstoppable. Anyways, my love, if you are new to the MK Love Fam, please hit that subscribe button. It would totally mean the world to me. Our beautiful MK Love Fam is growing by the day and I would love for you to join. Number one, we're a bunch of high vibrational souls. And number two, you're gonna be getting notifications of every time I upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Sundays at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time or GMT plus 10, depending on where you are. Um, yeah, comment below. I can't wait to hear from you and I will see you in the next video. I love you. Bye. Also, my loves, this is all the beautiful flowers that I wanted to show you. This is my mama bear's love. This is her self-love practices right here. I'm going to show you a little behind the scenes, so MK love, right back here, using my mum's piano still because I don't have my table. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful day in the garden, MK love fam, yes, yes, oh yes, nice, very nice. These are quite beautiful, I don't know, they're just stunning, I love them. And then we have some more over here, we just turn around, flowers are just like have this energy. You know, it helps to raise your vibration. But don't keep plants or live plants in your bedroom. It disturbs the flow of chi. Anyways, so there you have it, my loves. Peace out, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.